Um, All right, King's uh, Quest Six. Yeah, I don't know whether if we press the opening, we're just going to get it again. Uh, I I don't know. Ooh. Well, if we get it again, we can just skip, skip it. it. Okay. Long ago, in the castle of a kingdom called Devontry. Alexander, here you are. Oh, you're still not thinking about Cosima, are you? Mm -hmm. I Why has she got an erection? Son, it's been months. You've got to pull yourself together. After all, you only met her that That's once. just how it was back then. I know. Have you discovered anything about the land of the Green Isles? No. No one's even heard of it. It's like she's just vanished. I wish I could help. Please try to think about something else, dear. I'll try, Mother. She was in the mirror. In the mirror? The magic mirror? Yes. And it showed me how to find her. How? The Did stars. It? I saw the stars outside her window. I can navigate by the stars. Oh, Alexander. <laughs> if you really go... It will be all right, Mother. I promise. Birds. These are rigid birds. <laughs> like them. Aerodynamic. <laughs> they look like they're paper mache. It's great. I mean, it looks like we're getting some early 3D rendering, right? Yeah. Oh, hmm. I don't like it. He really had that telescope wedged straight into his eye. <laughs> Everything's connected. They kept up. <laughs> As the ship nears the shore, day turns to night and the sea turns violent. Another ship crash. We just can't help it. Well, hello. <laughs> Where are you coming in from? <laughs> Someone really likes their rudimentary 3D graphics. Oh. The tech of the 
time, right? Yeah. I've got PowerPoint now. Wow, okay, that was a long... <laughs> that was a long pause on that. I need to really bask in it. So, I mean, we got to see... Like the, yeah, well, the, the last few have been a bit like that. Yeah. We got to see the throne room in 3D. Yeah, yeah, it was really weird. It was very excessive as well. They did a little 3D pan to him back in the same position. <laughs> yeah, I, I think they should have opened with that. That was not the right thing to do. No, you don't need a transition if nothing moves. <laughs> Admittedly, like, while I hated it, because <laughs> early 3D makes me, I don't like the look of it, it yeah. always creeps me out. I was quite impressed, and they, to a certain extent, of a lengthy 3D opening. Yeah. It's nice to see other parts of the, um, the room. Alexander awakens to find himself on an unfamiliar beach. For a moment, he is too dazed to remember how he got here. Then he does remember. The shipwreck. The sea. Just as he had seen his men safely into the lifeboats, a gigantic wave picked him up and tossed him overboard into the churning sea. That was the last he'd seen of his crew. Debris from the shipwreck is scattered along the shore, but of the lifeboats and his men, there is thankfully no trace. He can only hope and pray that the lifeboat survived the currents and that his men made their way safely back to Devontree. From here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just can only hope. <laughs> I want to talk about this guy's outfit. Yeah, he's looking Is he wearing like a yellow a, scarf? He's got a bit of a weird Doctor Who vibe. <laughs> yes, he's got a yellow scarf on. Strange colour combination. Yeah. Have you uh, seen the Lilt Man anywhere? Right. Um, what, was I, I, uh, what was I saying? I was saying something. I've completely forgotten because of the intro. Ah! Uh, um, uh, yep, yeah. go on. Oh, no, I've just forgotten. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I remember. Sorry. It's okay. To and fro. Um, what I really liked about. <laughs> One of my favourite bit about that opening sequence was the bit where he looked in the mirror and it was just 2D again. Yeah, it was like the it was almost like they grabbed the old picture from the last game of that lady. Mm. I can't remember if we saw her like that. So I, I don't recall exactly. Um I mean I no, I'm not sure. We definitely got some like 2D like art shots of her. Yeah. At various points. Maybe that one wasn't there. I can't remember exactly. I can't remember her looking out of a balcony, which is what that was. Yeah, there weren't really any balconies. No, she was just like uh, talking to Buff Graham. Yeah. So we're, we're basically doing King's Quest 2 again. But for Alexander <laughs> yeah. now, he wants... I mean, he had to find what? He had to find an aisle no one had heard of, which I don't think is quite as far as going to fight a vampire and then getting going to another dimension, which is what Graham had to do. Oh, that was him. Did he go to another dimension? He did go to another dimension, didn't he? A purple one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's where she was. Yeah, that was weird. I've kind of forgotten that. Um, um, I don't think these quests are very kingly, to be honest. <laughs> Well, is, it, is the point that they're kingly or that kings were doing them? I just think... I, I was just thinking about it, like, earlier on today. I was like, what did we actually do in each of these games? Like, one of them was a quest to earn the kingdom. Another yeah. was to earn a wife or to win yeah. a, a wife. I guess maybe that's just not really that king. Only kind of sideways, though, because I don't remember if the premise was going to get a wife... He or... was like, I'm bored and lonely, and I need <laughs> some companionship. Oh, look. I'm gonna... Why did he go there? To Colima? I don't, Colima? I, I 
don't remember that why he actually went. That's the thing. Like, I just remember going, and then we just did loads of tasks that seemed completely independent of the idea of finding he, this this princess. Did, I assume he, it was a princess. Yeah, he did have a vision. I think he had a vision of the the, the woman on her bed, yeah. trapped by a tiger or whatever it was, <laughs> a lion. Yeah, Something, yeah, some beast. I thought, was, that, I thought it was a big wolf, but maybe it wasn't. I, 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 I've, I I've forgotten as well. Um, but either way, he he got a vision. I didn't think it was the mirror because I thought the mirror got used in four. And it now, got used in but maybe it did four, also. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, it's just four, right? Well, maybe it did. I mean, we had it back in to because that's one of the prizes, one of the, the gifts of the kingdom or something, wasn't it? A mirror. Was it? Yeah, it was one of the objects we had to get, wasn't it? The endless treasure chest. Shield. I thought it was a shield or something. A shield and... Oh, maybe I'm wrong then, because wasn't the other one like a staff or a scepter or something? Oh, I can't remember. My god. <laughs> We played yeah, these for no. so long now. No, it's been it's been too long. It's lost in my notes. I can't find that sort of stuff. That's yeah. it's too early in. I swear there was a mirror though. I don't know. Anyway, we seem to have just gotten launched into the game anyway. A proper yeah. Um, despite clicking. These these cuts. animations are actually very distracting. What this sort of rigid. This bush rigid oh. sort of back and forth nonsense animation. Like, some of them are fine, but it's the one on the left that doesn't make any sense. Mm. And we've got no parser. No parser. No parser. We are finally in point and click territory. We are parserless. Um, we now have the Sierra toolbar with all our most important actions. So. Talk, walk, point. <laughs> I think that's pick up or uh, use. Use both, yeah. I think. And Touch. then, yeah, use my finger. Use this finger to do something. And then look. Yeah, is that everything? Yeah. So it's only four verbs. And then an inventory and a settings. Yes. Uh, what do we have score. in this stuff? Speed, still, they've still got speed. We've still got score. <laughs> We're at max detail. Oh, yeah, 231. Oh, and we can toggle speech. Both. Oh, that would be good. Oh, that'd be good, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was going to ask about subtitles. Well, I think last time it didn't give you the option, so it's good. This one has it. So I can see Alexander's this. royal insignia ring lies abandoned on the sand. It must have slipped from his finger during the shipwreck. Fortunately, it was not lost in the sea. Oh, that's fortunate. Yeah, slipped off maybe Alexander after he got on shore somewhere. <laughs> ring from the beach. That'll come in useful. Mm. Uh. The remains of Alexander's sailing ship lie dashed upon the distant shore. Rocks abound on this lush volcanic isle. Just gonna look around. It's the nice not to have to type. With lush green plants. It's also gonna be nice. You don't have to give people voices, isn't it? Is sunny and yeah, I love it. I like the breaks. Clouds accent the bright blue. It does kind of feel a bit unnatural now, though. Not typing, look, and getting like a scene, is... like description, <laughs> and trying to the puzzle your way through, trying to work out what you can plants. actually interact and look at. Well, now I have to do it by a lies on the beach. pixel hunting. No doubt it once belonged to Alexander's ship. Yeah, but that's something you're way more familiar with. Yeah. Right, I think we blow this popsicle stand. So what's your what's your history? Have you played this one? What's my history with this? What's your history with this one? Um, I had it. That might be nice. my history. Um, okay. So yeah, so, it's really weird. Like, I, it turns out I own this collection on on disc, and I have them up up. I'm sure I've got them up there on the shelf somewhere. And I barely played any of them. Uh, 
5 is the only one that I had an actual memory while playing and even that turned out to be like only the first chunk of it <laughs> so everything about King's Quest and my history is just a fabrication yeah you, you weren't a King's Quest player at all no, or I played it, or bounced against the, you know, had a. I, I can't imagine I didn't try and play them, but they must have left very little or a poor impression, and I never persevered. I, I could imagine with the earlier games, but like with this one, I don't really know why I wouldn't have tried this. But I don't like. Is it is it not because it started and sounded like there was lots of history? Yeah, maybe. I mean, story history. We got um. I doubt I it. Know. I think I would are. have. I think I would have been compelled to try the newer ones because they would have looked better. Um, and yeah. I wouldn't have cared for lineage at the time, or sequencing. Also, we seem to have well, not obviously not escaped like a map sort of structure, but we seem to have escaped a natural grid. Just based off these the two screens we've seen, it says hard. It's hard to guess, but I feel like we've yeah. We need to travel a few more screens to see if I feel grids... like this would better be represented as a graph structure of yeah. some kind. Yeah, it's not. I mean, we it's not likely to work, is it? Because we've just got obvious exits to the diagonals. Yeah. So, and there's you know we're not going to be able to traverse here. He says, walking off the screen <laughs> and into a grid system. No, it's, no, you uh, can't leave. Yeah, secret grid system. <laughs> that was half the challenge of this game. This was nobody knew it was still a grid system. A precursor to Outer Wilds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have. Actually, we haven't really looked at the screen. A hollow in the trunk of the old tree forms a perfect nesting place for wildlife. Oh, owls. Well, you Grand reach into old it. tree stretches its luxurious limbs out over the crossroads. I will reach you into know, this if tree. If I've learned anything about King's West games, it's I don't like Alexander their owls. examines the tree's hollow, but finds nothing of interest. We should be playing this in honor of the queen. What? Because <laughs> it's a royalty-based game. And her yeah, recent passing I mean, means this should be a fitting tribute, though that by the time it gets on, yes, yeah, I mean it's going to be like two years Alexander from examines that. the tree's hollow, but finds nothing of interest. So that seems kind of uh... rocks abound on this lush volcanic isle. Probably won't have uh, any royalty by the time that happens. Yeah. Alexander is standing at a crossroads. Ooh. To the left, he can see a village. To the right, a castle. From the south come the sounds of the sea. He looks somewhat less buff than he was in the last game. What, Alexander? No, we, only saw him, we only saw him briefly at the end, but I thought he looked slightly... Isn't he wearing his dad's trousers? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad he's escaped the Cyan. Mm, that's true. He's got better, though weirder, clothing. Okay. Oh, yeah, green and yellow is a weird one. New. Oh, laps for new! What a weird sail system. <laughs> Quite a well animated yeah, mouth it's movement. Fun. Good day, peddler. Good day, sir. If you would like to get one of my fine new lamps, I'll need an old lamp in trade. Isn't it a rather bad business? <laughs> taking old lamps and giving new lamps in exchange? Well, there's always a chance that I'll find a genie. <laughs> if I had a genie, well, I'd be richer than a king. Besides, there's always a roaring business in antique luminaries. Okay. I'm not sure I like uh, Alexander's face. <laughs> What's a bit the mean? Says pawn shop. He looks fake. A large round pot is one of the pottery pieces on display outside the shops. That's just not how I imagined him looking. Alexander examines the large pot. It's currently empty, 
but a few scraps in the bottom indicate that it is used as a dump site on occasion. Oh, well, glad we've got our hands in that. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. Oh. The villagers bustle about their chores. They seem a busy, if somewhat subdued, lot. Okay. Alexander sees nothing. Old oh, lamps. It's kind of a sort of like yes, Arabian, a Persian. Yeah. Well, but yeah, I wasn't. Sorry, I wasn't criticizing the. Group. I thought you. I thought you Old were. Lamps I thought, no. for new. Very uh, specifically. Oh, lamps for new. All right, we need to leave because I don't want to hear him say that again. All right, you're gonna hear him say that again. Yeah. Good day. Hello. Oh, people are always going to be talking to us now. Yeah. Towering mightily over the other pawn shop curiosities, the stuffed bear makes an ostentatious display. Some of these look selectable. Yep. Items That's for sale. Nice. An elegant little glass dish decorates the countertop. The dish is full of green mints offered for the enjoyment Ooh. of the customer. Don't mind if I do. Alexander takes a mint. It's just like in Monkey Island. Alexander takes a closer look at the items on the counter. Ooh. Oh. I'm interested in that mechanical nightingale on the counter. What do you desire to give me in trade? The items on the front counter are all of equally slight value. <laughs> worth only a couple or two. They are handy items nonetheless. That's useful. Everything's the same price. It's a pound shop. Alright. Let's talk to this guy. Good day, merchant. Can you tell me what land this is? By the moon's light, what a question. You must have been out too long in the sun, or perhaps knocked your head upon a rock. Uh, no. Well, perhaps. I was in a shipwreck, you see. My crew and I were trying to reach the land of the Green Isles. I think... Well, at least I hope. My men got away safely in the lifeboats. But I myself appear to be rather stuck here. Ah, I see. You must pardon my incredulity, but it has been so long since we have had a foreign visitor. You wrecked your ship, young traveler, due to the currents and reefs around the islands. If your crew was wise enough to steer clear of the isles and head home, they should be fine. I didn't. In any case, you have met your objective, however bumpy the journey. You mean, this is the land of the Green Isles? Oh, thank the heavens. I had followed the stars, you see, and, and I thought I was close, but... The stars? You must be quite a sailor. But what is the purpose of your visit? I Kidnap. come for... Well, I mean, I, I hope to see... I met some time ago... <laughs> Say no more. You are smitten with a maiden, are you not? <laughs> what other than love could so confuse this a man's guy? tongue? This I guy's a genius. It is Princess Cosima. By the desert sands, when you fall in love, you do not mess around, do you? Is she here? This is the Isle of the Crown, young man. The castle of the crown stands on the hill. If it is Cosima you seek, that is where to look. The castle of the crown. Thank you, merchant. Quickest adventure game ever. Lad, you shall need it. No. I was gonna say, maybe you don't remember this one because you finished it in ten minutes. Yeah. We went up the hill and there was the castle. Cosima remembered us and we just went on our merry way. The end.